purpose of AFRO2 project is to assist countries in the World Health Organization African region to implement integrated vector management for control and eventual elimination of malaria. The funding of uh, AFRO2 project is from the Global Environment Facility, GEF, and the key implementing agency for the project is the United Nations Environment Program, UNEP. The executing organization is the World Health Organization, African region, also referred to as WHO Afro, assisted by ISIPE. This project has three components. The first one is on multi-sectoral promotion of uh, integrated vector management and it involves uh, policy advocacy and also education uh, amongst policy makers. The second component deals with the demonstration of the effectiveness of different vector control interventions which are diverse and also environmentally friendly and safe for use in communities. The third component is about knowledge dissemination and sharing of uh, lessons that have been learned from uh, the project. ECP focuses on component two, on the demonstration of, inf of the effectiveness of interventions. And currently we are working with the national malaria control programs of uh, six Southern African countries in order to achieve this objective. The countries include Botswana, Iswatini, Namibia, Zambia, Zimbabwe, and Mozambique. I work with Botswana, Namibia, and Eswatini. Why winter larviciding? Well, because these countries have unique climate. They have long dry seasons, uh, whereby the mosquito breeding sites where mosquito lay eggs are very few, fixed, and findable. The aim is to target when they're in that stage, so that when by the time they emerge, uh, they'll be targeted by in the residual spraying, which is usually done at the end of the dry season and right before the uh, rainy seasons. The second component on IVM demonstration project we are technically supported by ECP and in this project, in the IVM demonstration project, we do what we call a biolarvicide demonstration where we want to demonstrate the synergistic impact of systematically combining IRS with biolarviciding. And this is happening at community level. And uh, here we are basically demonstrating the added benefit of deploying communities or res recipient communities in the implementation of vector control. So we started implementing this activity here in Botswana in 2019. We have engaged community field assistant in a project area called, in a district called Bubirwa. So this is where the demonstration activities are going on. We are also collecting entomological data. With entomology data collection, we are using uh, three uh, techniques to collect data. We are using CDC light traps, we are using Procopex, we are using PSC. We are also doing a level habitat monitoring. So on, on, on every fortnight or on every week, as we have started this week, now it is done on every week since we started lagiciding. Uh, field assistants are visit the water bodies to characterize our, our, our level habitat to see if there is larvae in them and to see if these other attributes of those water bodies. In terms of the, the Afro 2 project, it came in 2019 
and uh, it has brought a lot of uh, good things to us. Um, last year we had uh, about 312 cases of malaria and this year we only had 38 uh, cases of malaria. There is no doubt that by year 2030 we would have eliminated malaria. The Afro 2 project uh, in relation to the country's mandate to eliminate malaria uh, is that um, uh, we need uh, interventions that are proven and we have evidence that uh, will advise or guide our activities that will prove relevant in our quest to ensure that we eliminate malaria in the country. The Winter Love is Hiding project, the intention is for us to gain evidence that will guide our activities in ensuring that we do achieve malaria elimination in the country through those activities and the data that we'll be collecting through this project uh, and with the assistance of ECP in guiding us technically to adopt those interventions that we will see work uh, for the country towards malaria elimination. Our role as a malaria program in the afro project is implementation of Lavisiden. Uh, WHO will serve as a coordinator and at our level, at program level, we, we are to implement the in intervention. So we will be love siding in 12 sites. We have selected sites where there is malaria, where malaria is endemic in the country. As a country, we have a goal of eliminating malaria in the country by 2023. I must say we are close to that goal, even though the past season we saw an increase in cases, I think as attribute to the emergence of COVID-19, some systems were affected, but uh, we're still in pursuit of our goal of eliminating uh, malaria in the country, and we are optimistic we will reach the goal and will be the first mainland country to eliminate malaria in the region. How screening involves a large-scale randomized trial targeting 800 households in three countries, namely Zambia, Mozambique, and Zimbabwe. 400 of the households in each country are screened on the doors, windows, and eaves in addition to provision of mosquito nets and act as the experimental group, while the other half of the houses are provided with mosquito nets and act as a control group. The aim of this study is to evaluate whether house screening provides any additional protection from malaria compared to use of mosquito nets alone. The Afro Troop house screening project that is carried out in Southern Africa, in Zambia, Mozambique and Zimbabwe. So the main objective of this project is to put up house screens in houses to prevent malaria transmission. So basically malaria is transmitted by uh, a mosquito biting a human beings and most of the control measures including nets and uh, larviciding the, the main objective is to prevent human vector contact. The house screening project is to prevent human vector contact when people are inside the households and they're not, uh, not it under their nets. So it basically works by protecting people in the early evenings maybe when they're cooking or just resting in the house before they go to sleep. House screening basically involves screening of traditionally built African houses. This is an example of a traditional built African house that is found in uh, the southern African countries. So here we can see that we have screened the door and we have screened the window. So the main objective is to prevent the contact between the mosquitoes and the, and the human hosts that are that will be residing inside the house. In some cases we have uh, households where the eaves are open and these are also screened. So at the end of the project we hope that uh, screening of houses and preventing the malaria vector contact with the human host will have an impact on malaria transmission in southern Africa. As at the end of 2021, Afro2 project had implemented a wide range of activities and achieved various milestones in three specific areas including entomological, epidemiological and socio-economic assessment. 
The project undertook cross-sectional parasitological surveys, household social demographic and malaria knowledge and practices surveys, and mosquito collections. Substantial information was generated whose analysis is ongoing. Data generated will be useful in guiding multi-sectoral policies regarding integrating house screening and winter labiciding with other malaria control interventions towards achieving malaria elimination.